I'm really excited and happy, um, you know, for getting that contract. But, you know, I'm well aware that the work is not nearly done. It's, it's kind of just begun. So excited, looking forward to the summer. What's going to be the key for you now going into this season, uh, or this off season, I should say, uh, going through and putting in the work? Uh, is there any kind of area of your game that you're you're trying to focus on over the the course of the off season? Uh, you know, like like everyone, I'm sure said, you know, every part of my game needs improvement. Um, you know, I'm, I'm obviously, you know, I know my speeds. You know, one of my uh, assets. So hopefully, you know work on that a lot and you know improve that as best as I can um, but you know like I said just really really looking forward to the summer and getting a lot better in every aspect. What were your thoughts uh, on the season as a whole for for your club? It seemed like there were ups and downs peaks and valleys which is not necessarily uh, unnormal in a hockey season but for you guys it may have been a little bit extreme on those peaks and valleys. Yeah yeah you know at, at some times it definitely felt like it was a bit of a roller coaster um, you know like I've said you know, a lot of times we've had an absolutely incredible leadership group um, that, you know, kind of uh, talked us through everything and, you know, made sure that, you know, we saw the light at the, at the end of the tunnel no matter what. Um, so, you know, I just, it, it was a lot of fun this year. Absolutely. You know, we had, we had one heck of a group um, and it's just unfortunate. It ended pretty early for us. Uh, it ended a little bit earlier for you as well as uh, you, you picked up an injury uh, over the course of, of the postseason. Was it tough to watch your team go at it in the postseason, especially uh, maybe a, a bit of a broadcaster's curse when we talk about you were the first player to play in all regular season games and then all of a sudden an injury wipes out your opportunity to play in the postseason? Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, anytime you're out of the lineup and, um, you know, even for regular season games, you you don't like to watch you want to be out there helping your team win um and you know that feeling just gets a lot worse in the playoffs and it's a lot harder to watch so yeah you know it was it was you know tremendously tough to watch the guys um you know especially with the end result we got knowing that um you know ultimately I couldn't be out there to help them um you know get a different result and advance the next round but that's you know something I kind of Got, got to get over because there's not much I can do now. Just kind of get better and be better for next year. You know, one of the uh, the cool things about you over the course of the year is that uh, fans really kind of gravitated to you. You were selected as the fan favorite this year, and there are lots of obviously great choices on this club. But uh, what do you think it is about you and, and you maybe as your personality and the way you play on the ice that attracts so many fans in Stockton to, to your game? Uh you know, everyone on the team knows that they they love seeing their fights and scrums and all that stuff. So maybe it's because I'm a little bit of an agitator and, and, and get after their team a little bit. But, you know, like you said, there's a lot of guys on this team that could have went to. Uh, you know, we do a lot of, of, you know, things for the fans. And a lot of the guys go out of their way, you know, just to kind of to say hi to, you know, whether it be a little kid or, or an elderly, you know, couple or gentleman. So it's... Uh, like I said before, a tremendous honor, um, obviously, to be to be voted for that and picked for that. But, uh, yeah, it could have went to a lot of guys. The, uh, the, there's obviously going to be a big offseason of training going on for you, but uh, hopefully there's some uh, bit of uh, relaxation and right now some recuperation as well for you. Uh, any plans uh, away from hockey for the offseason? Uh, looking forward to getting my cottage. That's, uh, that's about it. Um, doing that and then, yeah, a lot of training. So it's going to be a good summer. The, uh, the fans in Calgary don't necessarily know Ryan Lomberg by name right now, but uh, what do you have to do this summer and training-wise to make sure that everyone in Calgary has you on their radar as a guy who can compete for a job next year? Yeah, you know, i got to get better, faster, and stronger in, in you know, every aspect of my game, on and off the ice. Um, I know what i got to do. I'm looking forward to it and excited for the challenge, absolutely.